Hi team, in this video, I am going to explain how to retrieve last record, how to retrieve last row from table without doing sorting, without doing the sorting, like uh, doing reverse order. So usually we do ascending order. If you do uh, descending, it will be bottom data will be coming to the top. Without doing that, how we can retrieve the last row? So our target is what? How to select last row from the given DB2 table. So in for that, we are going to use a concept called scrollable cursor with absolute option. We are going to discuss scrollable cursor with scrollable cursor with absolute option. So we use absolute option in fetch so that we can retrieve the row which we want so absolute n n indicates it can be a positive value or it can be a negative value or it can be a zero if i give absolute if i give absolute if i give absolute 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 i'm writing short form absolute my uh, plus four we can retrieve fourth row from the top if i give minus from bottom fifth row we can retrieve from bottom we can retrieve fifth row okay fine but how i can retrieve last row as simple as mention absolute minus one okay mention absolute one so that we can able to retrieve last record we can able to retrieve last record without doing any sorting without doing any sorting we can get it for that what we are going to do okay what how you write it so if you know cobalt db2 program application program if you are having experience then you can easily understand step one we have to declare the cursor so step one we have to declare the cursor i'll show the demo by the way before that before i show the entire program first i will give an idea so how the difference will come with the when you compare with the normal cursor so execute sql declare you can write a cur okay you can write a cursor so we can mention the way and uh, copy that okay declare cursor call cursor so visually what we do we will mention cursor okay instead of cursor Crawl cursor for select. So the select command as your wish. You can write as per your business requirement. So in this scenario, we are retrieving all the rows from them. We are going to retrieve last row. Okay. If you filter anything from the filtered data, we are going to fetch the last row and end execute. So this is the one. Okay. We are done. Next step two, we have to open the cursor. For that, we write query like this: SQL open cur1, which is user defined cursor, and we open the cursor. Step three: we have to fetch it. So we no need to write any loop to fetch the last row to transfer the control to the last row. You don't need to. You know, if there are thousand records are there, you don't need to scan. First triple line records because it's a scroll option. Okay, we can move directly cursor. We can move the cursor directly to last row. So how we do write? Execute SQL. Fetch is the keyword we write, and we write absolute s one and cur one is a cursor one into once we fetch the data from this cursor cursor as per this particular absolute. Where you want to store? I want to hold the data in the host variable. So whatever the host variables, you can give like this. We do and so on and end execute. So next step three, four. We have to close the cursor, execute SQL, close CUR one and end execute. So no loop is required, no descending. No need to sorting. Okay, you don't need to anything. You take as it is the result table, as it is data. From there, 
which one blastro you want to fetch you can give minus one so if you see this particular data team okay if you observe this particular data so according to our this particular data even in my system also i kept this data only so we will get mustafa record we should get so i will go to one spoofy you can see output down here so one double zero nine mustafa and address is dubai and salary is there now what i will do i'll go to the program whatever i explained in the notepad same thing you can observe here also so here first identification division is completed definition and data division there i declared sql ca dcl gen and i declared the cursor with the scroll option so in another video i explain what is a scroll what is scrollable cursor what differences between scrollable cursor and non scrollable cursor so please watch them before you watch before you complete this video otherwise you don't understand what i am explaining then we opened the cursor so this is the code for that and we fetched the data and we closed it so here is the close cursor syntax and you can see first open and close cursor syntax and code now we will get into the fetch so execute sql fetch absolute minus one if you give minus one it is going to fetch the last row from this cursor and we are storing the data in this host variables at the end we are printing status code of the fetch and the content also so what i do i will compile this code pre-compilation compilation link edit bind and up so it is a short video so that is the reason i am not explaining in detail all the steps if i uh, will be explaining all of them if you attend my regular session if you attend db2 training you will be getting clear picture all of them so already i in the pre-compilation i kept the current program only the one which we are referring and in the bind and uh, next db2 run see the job id 9003 oh, 9 sorry 9002 9002 we'll see that 9003 and sees out you can see 1009 Mustafa Dubai and the data now we will see other scenario I want to retrieve unshield record from bottom 1 2 3 4 so if i give minus 4 i can retrieve unshield record we'll try that i will change here 4 same and i will do pre-compilation compile we get it all are there in the single get here bind in another I will be showing the output. So now we should be able to see actual record. One double zero six actual and India. Okay, team. So I hope you got a clear picture how to fetch last row through program. There are so many ways to do that, but I explain in one way. Okay, so there are some scenarios. Okay, there is approach I can fetch last two like that, but I want to fetch last but one. So this is the best way, right? Absolute minus two. So in so we have to choose as per the scenario and requirement, which is the best option. That's all for this particular video team. So I'll be creating more videos on this cursors and if you have if you need more videos or if you need any videos on db2 or other models please reach out to me